Two, baby. It's just two minutes. Your two-minute book tip starts now. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. <laughs> you just got Rickrolled on a meals and entertainment video. Wonderful. Yes. Watch out, Trump. You're next. Rick rolling someone on a YouTube video is always the greatest. So what we're going to do in this bookkeeping tick video is we're going to tell you the best tip to break out your chart of accounts or to set up your bookkeeping in such a way that's in alignment with Trump's new tax reform. If you don't implement this now, by the time you get to the end of 2018, you may have to completely unravel your meals and entertainment when it comes to taxes. So let's not do that. Let's give you this bookkeeping tip so that way you can save a lot of time in your books for 2018 going forward. But we only have two minutes, so let's dive right in. Okay, so here are the basics. In 2018 going forward, the Trump tax reform made some changes to meals and entertainment expense deductions for business owners. Click up here right now and come back to this video and it'll make more sense. So what we're going to do in the next two minutes is suggest to you three ways to break out your meals and entertainment expenses so that way it's an alignment for 2018 going forward when it comes to the tax reform. Okay, really quickly, here's a quick visual of what happened in the tax reform in 2018 going forward. Employee recreational events are still tax deductible for yourself as a business owner. When it comes to entertaining clients, um, only the meals portion of entertaining clients is tax deductible. And the fourth option where the meals provided for the convenience of the employer are now at 50%. Okay, so here's what we would suggest in setting up your records when it comes to bookkeeping in 2018 going forward. We suggest that you create three separate categories. Number one, create one for entertainment. We suggest you create an entertainment account. You can call it entertainment expenses 0% dash ND. ND for non-deductible because this expense is no longer allowed in 2018 going forward. Number two, employee meals. You'll want to create a separate category for employee meals. Now, what we would suggest you do is you would label the account employee meals, parties, and team building. This is 100% tax deductible under the new tax reform. Number three, create a third account called meals and de minimis expenses. Woo! What are you talking about? What we suggest is you create an account and name it Meals and De Minimis Fringe Benefits. This falls under a new tax reform under 50%. Now this includes things such as office snacks, meals with clients, meals with your team, meals at training events, overtime meals, working meals, cocktail parties, Things of this sort will fall underneath the meals and de minimis category. Okay, so just to recap, the three accounts that you'll want to set up in your records and your bookkeeping is number one, entertainment expenses, 0%. Number two, employee meals, parties and team building, 100% deductible. Number three, meals and de minimis fringe benefits, 50% deductible. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this bookkeeping tip was very useful for you guys. Exact details of those three accounts are down in the description below. Be sure to implement these three accounts in your bookkeeping records. If your pro hasn't told you about them yet, shame on them. Shame, shame, shame. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys at the next video. Wow, that was the best two minutes of your life. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully we were able to answer all your questions with our two minute tip. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the button below and check out this video over here for our latest release and that playlist down there for our best playlist. And we'll see you guys at the next video.